morning my YouTube viewers, it's Crystal here. I'm just here this morning because I wanted to make you another video. In this video we're going to talk about how to make a gamma distribution in um, Excel. And so basically in order to make a gamma distribution the first thing that you need to do is you need to determine your shape and your scale of the distribution and so you can find that over here on E E3 you can put your shape which is your alpha and I put a five and F3 you can put your scale which is a beta and I put two and then after you determined your alpha and your beta then you need to put your input and so basically what I did was I did a rand used rand between 0 to 40 so you're gonna get a random integer between 0 to 40 and I put that in column A starting with A3 and going all the way down to A104. So those are you're going to be your, you've got your input variable and you've got your alpha which is your shape and your beta and your scale. So now after we have input the alpha, beta and input then what we want to do is we want to create the gamma distribution and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the gamma PDF distribution and so we're going to use the gamma dot dist function uh, and it's going to use a3 dollar sign e dollar sign 3 comma dollar sign f dollar sign 3 and false so the dollar sign in front of the cell reference means that it's an absolute cell reference and it's not going to change so even if you go down to the next cell like B4 is still going to say dollar sign E dollar sign 3 dollar sign F dollar sign 3 because that's giving you your absolute cell reference and false indicates that it's a PDF or it's a probability distribution function so you can see over here your gamma distribution PDF that's what it looks like with an alpha of 5 and a beta of 2. So after we have created our gamma distribution PDF we want to create our gamma distribution CDF which is a cumulative distribution function and so the only change that we're going to make is we're going to take the false and we're going to turn it to true and so the true indicates that it's a CDF or a cumulative distribution function and that goes all the way down to you copy that all the way down to cell D 104 as well and so you can come over here to this uh, graph right here and this shows you your CDF so that's the cumulative of your gamma distribution and so you can see that you've got two different types of uh, distributions probability and cumulative and um, so that's that so what you can do is you can experiment with the gamma PDF you can experiment with the shape and the scale and so the gamma PDF is right skewed and because it's right skewed I decided to give it this shape but if you want to change it to six a shape of six then you can see then that's a bit different and then shape of ten and so that's a bit different and it takes it and it makes it almost like a normal distribution but what we'll do is we'll take it back to five that's your shape and then we take our scale so we've got a scale of 2, so let's take the scale and change it to 3. 
and then like the scale and change it to five. And so again, you can change the scale as well. But I'm going to take the scale and I'm going to convert, take it back to two. The reason why I used five and two is because whenever I was researching the gamma distribution, it said that it's a right skewed distribution. So I tried to make the gamma distribution look right skewed. So if you want to make a, a chart of um, the gamma distribution, the first thing you want to do is you want to block off um, the input and the gamma PBF distribution to give you a diagram of the gamma PBF. So come over here to insert and then we go to recommended charts and so the only recommended chart you have is a scatter plot but we can look on all charts here and you can see that it doesn't really look the way I want it to look but you can do it you can um, doesn't look the way I like it to look but here's your scatter plot which is what we had so that's what we had so you can look over here that doesn't look too good that doesn't look too good that doesn't look too good so the only one that really looks the way we want it to look is this one right here that we're on but you can go down to the different uh, types of charts and you can select the type of chart that you want but the only type of chart that makes the uh, graph that we want it to make is the XY scatter plot and then what you would do is you would click on to the type of plot you want and you would click on to OK. But we're not going to do that. And the reason why we're not going to do that is because we've already got the XY scatter plot in place. So that just shows you that there's lots of different charts that you can make. But really there's only one chart that's suitable. Oh, excuse me. And that's the XY that's the XY scatter plot. So let's just say you want to check the gamma CDF. You block off all the cells that you want the chart to be composed of. And then you come to insert and recommend it. And again, you've got the same situation that you previously had. So we got a scatter plot. And scatter plot seems to be the only suitable plot. But we can come over here to all charts. We can go to scatter plot. And then we can check. Again, we can check that. And it's not really suitable for what we want. The only chart that gives us what we want is this chart here. And so you would click on to that. And then you would click on OK, and that would give you your scatter plot. But we're not going to do that. And the reason why is because we've already got a scatter plot on the chart. I just wanted to show you how to do that. So that is pretty much it for this particular um, video. So I've showed you how to make a gamma probability in PDF and CDF. I've showed you how to input random variables into the uh, distribution showed you how to manipulate the shape and the scale and i've also showed you how to make a chart so um i think that concludes this particular video so if you like my video please like and subscribe and i'm looking forward to communicating with you in the next video where i will cover 
another type of distribution in Excel.